Is the United States playing a bit of catch up when it comes to its involvement in the region, in this part of the world, in Southeast Asia, in your opinion? Well, there is always a dynamic, but uh, certainly uh, we see this uh, really uh, from the policy statement made by Secretary Blinken in University of Indonesia. I think he made it very clear that the uh, engagement in the, uh, of the U.S. here in the region will uh, be enhanced on many various issues of common concerns. I think this is something that we, are, uh, we welcome very much. How does Indonesia and other nations, we know, of course, the Secretary's visiting uh, our neighbours in uh, Malaysia and also Thailand as well. Uh, but from your point of view, how does Indonesia balance the relationship of between the United States and also China? And I just want to run through a few statistics here, because when it comes to Southeast Asia, uh, two-way trade with China uh, stood at $685 billion in 2020, uh, compared to the United States at $328 billion. So uh, China's impact in the region uh, when it comes to investment in things like uh, trade, infrastructure and the like is double that of the United States. Well, this is what the U.S. Uh, realized, and this is also what the uh, statement by Secretary Blinken uh, was all about, I believe, when we heard he was saying that uh, he would like to, the U.S. would like to engage in terms of the economic cooperation with the region. I think they are uh, not only talking about Indo-Pacific economic framework, but also uh, they are talking about the commitment of investment up to $1 trillion U.S. trillion to the region. And, and we realize that the trade potential is uh, certainly uh, much more than uh, what we have seen uh, over the past many years now. I think this is, this is what the U.S. is trying to do with the introduction of the, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, economic uh, Indo-Pacific framework. I think this is something that we welcome very much, and we would like to uh, certainly increase uh, the uh, partnership on many issues of uh, in fact, it's a global concern like health, like climate change, uh, like energy transition, like digital transformation. I think everybody is talking about this. And also for Indonesia, these are the three main priorities of the Indonesian presidency in the G20. Health, uh, architecture, energy transition, and also digital transformation. So uh, we are talking about the same thing. So we welcome that very much and we look forward that we will uh, certainly be able to walk the talk.